Hi, welcome to Smart App Moms. I'm Dr. Kiki. And I'm Steph Tizina. And today we are reviewing Meet Science, Magnetism and Electricity. This is the show where we help you figure out which apps are appropriate for your kids, saving you time and hopefully making your job a whole lot easier. We're going to be scouring the app stores looking for the best apps, reviewing them ourselves and trying them out and also getting our kids to try them out too. Today, we are looking at an app for my sciency web followers. Yo, this is for you. Um, it's Meet Science, Magnetism and Electricity. It is an educational platform to teach kids about magnetism and electric electricity, the phys basic physics concepts. And it incorporates uh, learning modules, videos, Welcome games, and uh, what else? Experiments. Yeah. Experiments that you can do. What was your experience, Steph? Um, having a five and a half year old at home, we are not at this level of science yet, so I haven't done this in many years. Um, so it was a steep learning curve for me and my son. I he just walked away. So he wasn't, he wasn't <laughs> no, he wasn't interested it. at all. <laughs> yeah, this really doesn't have the kind of uh, engaging aspects that are going to keep you coming back to it unless you have a parent sitting over your shoulder telling yeah. you to do it or you just have an intrinsic yeah. interest. I think it's a great supplement to learning at school and then taking it home and like, you know, and it, it would help me as a parent yeah. trying to catch up. Right. Yeah. It, it's, 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 I think it's really nicely done. The whole app has these great cartoony characters to make it more fun, to help explain the concepts related to magnetism and electricity. Um, they go through the basics and build up and kind of bring concepts together, helping you figure out how magnets work, how does electric current, electrical current flow, what an electron is, um, and it also describes electrical circuits. So there are all sorts of things that build on each other in a module kind of way. I think though it's it's definitely rated like I think it's rated young but at the same time this is something for maybe nine year olds mm -hmm. and over. Yes. Nine How to fourteen, you know where to fifteen. Start? That was my problem is that like, I kept on going to a place that like I actually needed the information from another spot mm -hmm. to know anything about. And so yeah there's those modules but there was no clear map. It wasn't totally clear, but at the same time, if you just said there was a section that says see all, see and you all. could just start at the first oh, one and okay. then that makes sense. and then run through. Um, I, all of it, my three-year-old loves watching the videos. And I, yeah. you know, this is the kind of thing that he's not going to get all this stuff right now. And we play with magnets at home. You know, we've got mm -hmm. them on the refrigerator and I've got little toys that we can play with. So he's not going to get everything, but to introduce the concepts at a really young age and just get him just watching it, I think is cool. I thought when they paused the video and they had to form a hypo hypothesis, I thought that was great. That was a nice feature, but I thought that the videos were a little bit spastic. <laughs> They're like, like really fast, and then one of them, they wear, fast. they wear gloves, which as a parent, I'm like, maybe I don't want to be doing this project. I don't know. Yeah, as you look into it, you can, you can learn more as a parent if you're, um, if you understand a lot about science, you're obviously going to be more comfortable with the yeah. concepts to begin with. But like you said, this is something that can be great for bringing them back if you haven't yeah. been th had to think about them There's for a, a long glossary. time. Too. Yeah. Um, take home points. I thought that they were great demonstration experiment videos. Maybe they were a little bit fast paced, but you can also figure out how to try them at home. Mm -hmm. They give you all the, the stuff to do it at home. Um, it combines entertainment with education, which I think is fantastic. It's iPad only, but it's a great interactive experience. What was your take home? Um, I really think that as a parent, you need to go through the app yourself because they don't offer any parent support. If you click the parent support button, it's other apps. So the parent support is use the app first. <laughs> right. <laughs> Got it. What grade did you give it? I gave it a B minus. I gave it a B plus. So maybe that's just coming from different places in the science. Oh, definitely. Understanding. <laughs> yeah. Should we consider it tested? Tested. 
awesome. Thanks for watching everybody. If you have younger kids and you're interested in more educational apps, maybe you should check out our review of Reading Raven. It's something that might be better for younger learners. And if you want to comment on this show or make recommendations for apps that we can review later, let us know. We got our info below. I'm Dr. Kiki at Dr. Kiki on Twitter. And I'm Steph Tizignan at Ask Anani on Twitter. And this is Smart App Mom. You've made a smart choice.